I can do some demonstration. I would like to show um, a little movement sequence in, with a movement theme side bending in sitting. Side bending is um, very unfa un unfamiliar for many people. So um, the side bending movement I am talking about is lifting the one side of the pelvis and then lengthening one side of the spine and shortening one side the other side of the spine and staying in the side um, in the side plane and um, so if you just sit comfortably first with both feet on the floor, flat on the floor and really comfortable feel, feel the weight through the pelvis and then feel your feet on the ground and easy breath and don't try to pull yourself up, it's just really as comfortable as you can and relaxed in, in the sitting position. And then lift one, lift the right side of the pelvis off the table. And let the whole spine respond in the side bending in the plane here. So also the upper part of the spine and the neck and the face stays forward. Just do this movement a few times. And then do the movement again, a little bit slower. And feel how when you come down, when the movement ends, that the muscles really relax and then you start again and uh, feel how the right foot needs to push a little bit into the ground while the pelvis comes up and easy breath try not to hold your breath and then do it to the other side and while you do it to the other side, just feel how is the other side different? Is it easier? Is it for me easier to lift the left side or the right side? And for me it's definitely easier to lift the right side. And the left side I can not move as far. The range of the movement is not so the movement stops much earlier. So now what I'd like to um, do is like to do some variation of this movement so we can improve the movement. So, um, so let's do one variation um, of this movement so we can learn how to improve the movement. So we'll bring one hand on the iliac crest, like in a full claw dance, something the elbow is to the side more or less, and then lift the right side of the pelvis again and then push the pelvis down with the hand gently and bring it back up. Just always stay in the side bending plane. sagittal plane. And push so the muscles can really relax. It's quicker the movement now and the accentuation is down and then it comes back up. Breathing organizes itself. I'm breathing out when I push the pelvis down. And I stay really easy. I can still feel my right foot pushing down and the pelvis comes back up a little bit. 
and then stop and just after you stop just feel the right side it, uh, compare the right side and the left side now I can now feel that my right side is lower than before and lower than the left pelvis so now I'm doing the same on the left side the hand, the hand helps the pelvis up a little bit, but then what is important that it pushes it down and the pelvis comes up by itself, really. So all the muscles when the pelvis comes up, down, can really let go. Just really see how the breathing naturally organizes itself. There is no right or wrong breathing way of breathing here, but we always say in Feltenkreis the breathing needs to be free, so just let it become what it wants to be here. So the hand is pushing, the pelvis touches again and then lifts again. And the, uh, the quality of the movement is always really easy. And then just rest, feel a sitting position. And now I can feel like also on the left side the muscles have let go quite a bit. I'm sitting differently now. Feel more pressure in my feet can feel more pressure and more weight in my pelvis. So now I'm doing the movement, just the side bending movement again from the beginning. And I compare it with earlier. How do I do the movement now? And it feels like the pelvis has more range. I do more side bending in the spine shift also a little bit further to the left. See how it is on the left side. Also, here is also more range, the movement doesn't stop as quickly as before. It is still different from the right side, but it has changed. Some more side bending. And somehow I feel more connected through the middle. In the front. So, this is an example of a variation in a movement theme, how the Feldenkrais method works, and it is always really important to use little effort to be comfortable, to be relaxed, so the muscles um, have a chance to change. And for this particular lesson, there would be many other variations to improve the movement in the side bending. So, so why has the pelvis changed in the side bending through the variation? Um, the muscles in the pelvis, there are very big and very strong muscles in the pelvis. And they have a tendency to be tightened up very easily. So that in the side bending can be, a lim can be a limitation to do the side bending, to lift the pelvis. And um, so emphasizing the movement down with the hand and uh, making it a bit quicker relaxes those muscles. It, it tells the muscles, gives the muscles the message, oh, you can just let go. You don't have to do the work. Um, the work you, you can relax and then they relax when the pelvis comes down and then the pelvis kind of falls back up in a way it feels like it just does it by itself so the nervous system kind of learns to let go and allow the pelvis to do the movement with less effort of the muscles because it doesn't need that much and it has naturally more range 
and then that's why in the end you feel you, you can feel the movement goes further the muscles work less thank you